Now that we got this new carburetor installed, let's see if we can fabricate some sort of throttle linkage that will work with this setup. So I recently installed this Edelbrock 1406 carburetor, and I noticed that the throttle linkage that was in here before that was working with the stock carburetor, it, well, it does fit in here and it does actuate the throttle. The problem is, is this thing won't stay in place. Um, there's a little clip that goes on here that went on the stock carburetor that would work except for as this thing pivots the clip wouldn't work with the setup so i have to come up with a different way to make this linkage work with this throttle setup uh, i could i could do something where i could maybe drill a hole in here and put a cotter pin in the end of that and then put it in here or something but i saw something else that i want to try and i want to see if i can make my own throttle linkage that will utilize the factory throttle pedal lever here and then attach up here in the carburetor so let's see what we got so this is that throttle linkage that was in the car, and this was that piece I was describing where, you know, it goes through and it clips on here, and the way that it clips on here, it allows, there, it allows to work with the carburetor that was in the car, but it doesn't work on the new one. So I can't utilize this, and I could use this bar, but I got a different idea. I got some, some quarter inch stainless steel here, and then with some other pieces that I've, you know, using these kind of bins and stuff like that, I got some other pieces that I kind of assembled, and then I picked up some of these. And I, what I did is I saw a picture online that utilized this type of Heim joint rod end setup. And what I do is I can cut this to length, thread the ends of it, put those on there, and then a combination of these other parts. I think I can make something to replace what this was doing. Some of you guys may find that just using this and just making this work will be great for you. Putting together something like this, if you've got the little parts and pieces, it may work out. I think when I kind of got it done putting everything together, looking online, it would have been cheaper just to buy a, a, a throttle linkage piece. However, I think this is kind of more fun to kind of come up with an, your own idea and see what you can do. So what I'm gonna do first is, I know that, the, that this length from here to here is actually what I want it to be. So when I put these ends on the end of the, of the rod, I want, you know, when this goes in here, I want that total length to, to equal this distance. And that right now, that's about 11 inches. Uh, we'll call it 11 inches. And so, but I know that the, the bar can't be 11 inches because I've got to be able to thread these pieces on here. So I need to start, I need to take this out of the package and I need to figure out what it's going to take and what length of this bar it needs to be to work with this and get me the length of that linkage. All right, to get the inside length of this, I think, so there, that's how deep that piece is. And it's roughly an inch. So I know that it's an inch from here to there. This needs to be 11 inches. That means the bar, the rod, can't be any longer than, say, nine and a half inches. If it was nine and a half inches, there wouldn't be able to make this bar any shorter. But we could make it longer. So I'm going to do, which I don't want it to be, any longer because I do know that the if I make this longer it actually reduces where the pedal is in the car it actually drops the pedal to the floor so I want this to be as short as possible because it keeps the pedal up in the car I'll show that when we get it put back on the on the car but for now we do know that if we keep this length this will be the longest that we want it to be but we could go shorter so if I do nine and a quarter inches then I can get a little bit more length you know bringing this in which may help me down the road so we're going to cut this at nine and a quarter inches, and then we can thread the ends. We need to do a quarter 28 thread pitch on the end of these for them to thread on there. Right, now we got the rod length. It's just about, I think this will be work, this will work great. So now we need to put a quarter 28 thread pitch on the end of each end of this rod. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Andy, not only are you doing it the hard way, you're doing it wrong. And you're probably right. Most of you know that quarter inch material is not the diameter it needs to be for 
running a die over it. It actually needs to be something like 0.22 or 0.23 inches or whatever diameter. That's why I was sanding it down, trying to reduce the diameter on the ends just to make the, the tab or the die run a little smoother. And you can see I was able to get it, but I actually had to keep going back and forth between putting it in the vise and sanding it down to get that diameter down because I don't have a lathe. I can't easily take this di this material down to get it to the right diameter or even close so that it'll work with the die. So we're going to just skip this part and go straight to something that I should have done to begin with. And it sounds like, and it's going to look like a much simpler solution. And that's going to be using a piece of all thread. This right here is quarter 28 all thread. And the nice thing is, is not only is it the right size, it's also the right thread. Ready to go, thread it on there, everybody's happy. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. Then we'll put it in here and then what we're going to do on top of this to clean this up so that it looks nice. We don't want to see these threads. So we're going to do something that makes it look a little nicer. I also got a piece of this aluminum tubing. It's the right diameter so that we can just slide this over the top when we're done and it'll just be the right well when we're done we get everything to the right size down here we'll just cut this to the length so if this was this would need to be it would be like that long right that way it'll clean up the thing you won't see the threads it'll pretty look pretty much like this piece would have looked had i been able to finish this but we're going to skip that and do uh, plan b and use this piece of all thread and while we did use this as a gauge earlier uh, to figure out the right length one thing I forgot about is that this position where this was would have connected into is different in terms of this direction than the other carburetors. So what I want to do is just double check my measurement. We're going to go ahead and put this in here because that's where I'm going to mount it to, mount the, the new linkage to is this hole. But you can see how this isn't reaching. That's because the pedal right now is all the way, it's sitting on the floor. And that's good because that's where we want it because that's where if we're going to mash the pedal, that's the farthest back that this lever will travel. And we know that if we open this up, this is the farthest back that the throttle linkage will go. And with this in here, let's see if I can hold this all together here. So we're not quite there yet. So actually what I need to do is I need to move this little lever piece here about an inch back. So I'm gonna thre thread this back and see if I can get it in the right spot where it's centered in this hole. All right, now you kinda, can't really tell on the camera, but that pin is sitting in the center of the hole of this lever. So with this throttle open all the way, this is the distance that we want. So I can take this back to the bench and know that this is now the actual distance we want to make that new linkage. So here's the actual corrected length. I'm glad we measured it. Uh, if we put these in place, get an idea about where those end links are going to sit. The rod length now should be, we should probably make that right about 10 inches long. And that way we can shorten it up a little bit if we need to. That will make this the correct length. And we don't want to make it 11 and a quarter because we have to have these on the end. So we'll mark it at 10 and that'll do it. Pro tip, when you're cutting something with threads on it, if you put a nut on there and then cut it off afterwards, then you can undo the nut and it cleans up the end of the threads. It makes it a little easier for threading stuff on. All right, now we can try it in the car. I went ahead and drilled this out. This is now a quarter inch hole here in the side of the linkage. And I also found in my little bin and stuff, this little rubber sleeve piece with a plastic sleeve on the inside of that that allows me to use these pins to fit right in there, a nice snug little fit, so that's perfect. Okay, so we'll take these pins, throw it in there. This is just a rough fit for now. And I also have this spacer piece that I'm gonna use. This is more or less how it's gonna go. I need to cut these to length still, but you get an idea. That's what the throttling is gonna look like. And then as this opens up all the way, that goes up like that. And this is gonna be snug up. This will be snug up to there. And I'll cut this to the right length. This looks like this is pretty close. So I think we can finalize this piece. All right, so this piece of tubing that we're gonna put in here needs to be eight and 11 sixteenths. That's probably the right length for that. Yeah, that looks official, right? So now for these pieces, uh, I was using, I'm able to use this shorter piece here. So as we come through on the back side of the end link, and we've got this on there. I'm gonna probably put a washer just to save it from the pushing the bushing out of that throttle lever. We'll need another one on this side here and then a cotter pin. I'm guessing that we can cut off that last hole because we're not gonna need it. 
the front one i do know that this is way too long combination of these on here in place it probably won't be able to use this first hole we might have to use a second hole let's go take a look in there real quick okay as i was testing this out one thing i didn't like is that even with these cotter pins in there this system could kind of do this just a little tiny bit because these aren't connecting they're not exactly perfectly tight so i'm going to swap this out for fasteners instead of these i was just trying to think of a quick connect thing that i can pull this off if i need to but in the end i think just putting fasteners on here and tighten them down will probably be the best route so i think what i'm going to use instead of these pins is i'm going to use these fasteners you know i was digging through some of these drawers and stuff that i have and i think i found something that's going to work i think we're going to throw this guy in here with some washers and the nut on that end and same thing on this end bolt nut so i think this will be much better than than the option with these uh, cotter pins set up The last little part of this is just putting on the spring system that goes on here. I bought some new springs to go with this as well, just so that we could make sure that we got a fresh new throttle setup here. So we got a little bracket, and then what you just need to do on your setup is just decide if, particularly in this one, I've got two different holes that I can mount it to. I want to do the back one or the front one. I just figure out what the right hole and then get that set up and get that put in there. All right, guys, that's it. Everything's in place, everything's moving, nothing's touching, nothing's catching. I think this turned out pretty good. This is pretty close to that original design that I was looking at, that picture that I showed earlier. Uh, we made a couple of changes to get here, but in the end, I think this is gonna work out pretty good and looks pretty professional, and I think you guys could replicate this pretty pretty well yourself. These fasteners and stuff like that, a lot of the stuff you guys probably already have in your you know parts bin and, and stuff like that, but everything, everything else is something you can get off the shelf at a hardware store. All right, guys, that takes care of that. That's a throttle custom throttle linkage. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you subscribe, I'd appreciate it because it helps the channel out, and we'll see you in the next one.